Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Scorpios out there for the week of November 10th to the 16th. So, without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> Sun, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Sun, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What kind of love is coming towards my Scorpios for the week of <clears throat> November 10th to the 16th? What kind of love? It's coming towards my Scorpio for the week of November 10th to the 16th. Show me cards that I need to see. Okay, cool. That feels like it's done. Ooh. Very good. Okay, so <clears throat> right off the bat, we got the wheel of fortune that means that uh the will of fortune is beginning to turn in this person's favor okay they've been kind of trying to holler at you for a little bit now things are beginning to turn in their favor you're beginning to notice them this individual <clears throat> is an earth sign individual could possibly be be younger could also be either uh, also young at heart also okay so this is another sign individual capricorn taurus or virgo and like i said the wheels of fortune are beginning to turn in their favor when it comes to being with you okay now right off the bat we got the death card here and they're looking to have a fresh new start with you they put a lot of their so they have no they're not dealing with any baggage any kind of excess nonsense that's all behind them the reason why i said the will of fortune is beginning to move in their favor because they already came at you, all right? We got the Four of Cups here. Get this thing in focus. Four of Cups here. So they already kind of came at you and was trying to get your attention, all right? But for whatever reason, you just wasn't having it, all right? So they were like, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to keep on working on my pentacles. Keep on getting my eyes dotted and my T's crossed. Dot my eyes crossing my T's. This also tells me that this is a person you probably most likely work with okay this is a person that you most likely work with at your at your job okay and um <clears throat> yeah you're you're yeah you work with this individual like i said they shot the shot and they got rejected so it was like okay cool so they give up they just kind of stayed on the periphery kind of see what was going on now things are beginning to change and you're beginning to notice etc etc okay and this person is looking for an equal give and take. So they about it. They definitely about it. They're looking for an equal give and take. It just had to, they just had to kind of hang in there long enough for you to recognize them and realize, okay, now I may want to give this thing a shot. In addition, there's also this fire sign individual. And this person is uh, an, an attractive individual, okay? They also have the ability to attract things to them this is a fire sign individual um a leo and aries or a sagittarius um and there this is a full things have come full circle for these individuals on um, this sense of end of, uh, of, of of independence of liberation and they look at they're kind of like um you know looking to complete a cycle if you will and you're part of this cycle of completion um and they're looking to be transparent and honest with you. So, you know, it doesn't appear with this fire sun individual. It doesn't really look like it's, it's not. It's nowhere near as serious as with this earth sign individual. It's just with this fire sign individual, things with them are kind of coming full circle. And they're kind of opening themselves up to the possibility of something else. Okay. But the earth sign individual definitely appears to be significantly more um, promising. Okay, that being said, let's see what kind of strengths you're going to get. What kind of strengths are you guys going to be? What kind of strengths are my Scorpios going to be dealing with? <clears throat> what kind of strengths are my Scorpios going to be dealing with during the week of November 10th to the 16th? Yep, just like I thought. So, right now, nine of pentacles. 
my Scorpio. So you're independently happy. You're happy. You're comfortable in your own skin. You're kind of like sort of single. Um, and you're enjoying being single. But you would be open to the opportunity. Okay. And I can see that right here. Three of Pentacles. So you're open to the opportunity of exploring something at the place where you work. If it's the right situation. Okay. If it's the right situation. Um, but you're definitely open to it. Right now, like I said, right now you're comfortable kind of sort of being kind of single. You're kind of just kind of seeing what's out there. So you're not really, nothing has really grabbed you, so to speak, not yet. But you're open to the idea of it doing it. So, but also that being said, uh, addition here we have the King of Swords energy here. Okay, so that means that you, you, you definitely are not afraid to make really tough decisions uh, if need be. <clears throat> what about the situation? In addition here, you are definitely looking for if the right situation occurs, a long-term commitment, relationship, possible marriage could possibly be a part of the equation as well. Um, you are very, very aware that you got choices. That you got choices. You have choices and, and, you're, and you're opening to um, really exploring those cho choices if need be. However, if, but the, if these choices don't pan out, Eight of Cups, you're not afraid to walk away either. You're just not going to just, you know, like I said before, right now you're pretty happy uh, being single. Okay, it's, it's not a big deal for you. Um, but you're open to the uh, open to the idea of finding something of, of, of substance and kind of pulling your heart inside. And finally here, your biggest asset is your intuition. Okay, high priest is your intuition. So... Your, 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 your spidey sense is pretty much on point, in other words. So, there's that. So, let's see what types of, if anything, what types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What type of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What type of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? Ooh. Okay, cool. Something wanted to pop off, so we'll take that. So, right off the bat, generosity. You're looking for someone who is generous. We'll come into focus here. There we go. To come in. So, you're looking for someone that is generous, that is courteous. Um, in the past, you know, that may not have been, may not have um, been something that you really had an issue with. Now you do because, like I said before, you're happy being solo. So, of course, you know, your, your, your expectations are going to be a little bit more demanding, a little bit more higher. Also, you're looking for something of, of, of Ten of Pentacles round. Something, we're talking about legacy, we're talking about family, we're talking about something long term. Um, and um, you want somebody that's going to be in it to win it for the long term. Okay, you're not looking, like I said before, you're not looking for a booty call, you're looking for something legitimate and solid. Because you can do bad by yourself. And that's pretty much what this whole energy vibe that I'm really getting from this thing. You're looking for something that's really going to bring, uh, 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 that's really going to add to what you already have. All right. And finally here, you're looking for someone that's going to give you an equal give and take. That goes without saying, because like I said before, you're single and you're comfortable in your own skin, but you need something that's going to either um, increase your, uh, 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 in, in, in increase uh, the opportunities that you have as far as relationship wise, as far as maybe marriage down, marriage down the line, children perhaps or something like that, or you're looking for, um, <clears throat> even looking for that, or you're looking for someone that's going to stimulate you intellectually. Okay. Um, but you what you're not looking for is someone just to kind of like somebody to pass the time with. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for something that is going to bring a sense of substance into your life, either one way or the other. All right. And so with that being said, let's see what additional information spirits have to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information do you have for my script before I shut this thing down? What additional information do you have for my script before I shut this thing down? perfect sense so one as i was saying before expectations it's okay for you to have high expectations and you do 
uh, you again, you want somebody that's going to be an addition to your life, a real addition. <clears throat> you know, so that's going to, an, an addition that's going to elevate the, the the level of play, so to speak. Okay. Um, also, you're looking for someone that's going to be consistent, consistent, consistency. That's going to do this on a consistent basis, not just kind of like uh, you know a little bit here, a little bit there. Something that is consistent is uh, the, where the flow is going to be constant. And also, you're looking for balance. Okay, you're looking for someone again. You're you're looking for the yin to your yang, or vice versa. That's what you're looking for. All right. So you're looking for somebody that's going to balance things out to raise the level of play intellectually or in terms of being serious. Okay, so that's pretty much pretty much a cut and dry reading actually. Um, <clears throat> so, with that being said, uh, hopefully this resonated with you guys. This is a general reading. If it didn't, feel free to get a personal reading. Um, I'll leave all the links and stuff below. If it didn't, that's cool. You still may want to get a personal reading so I can look into your particular situation. All right. With that being said, I love you guys. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.